So, it's another episode of The Cynical Traveler. We are currently in Lance Omedo, if I'm pronouncing that correctly, which I'm probably not, at the very tip of Newfoundland, getting ready to explore a Viking settlement, historic recreation, and other things that have to do with the Vikings who apparently landed here in the way back. I don't know exactly when. So there'll be more as we go along, but right now, this is the backyard. So still in the Viking village that's being uh, subjected to examination. And what it looks like is that there, when they were here, this would have been a channel that when the seas were higher and times were different, the water would have come right up to behind their buildings where they did boat repair and so on. Of course, now it's kind of an alluvial plain with a stream through it, but it certainly indicates that maybe that was the water line up close to the village. Also, on the other side of the harbor is a recreated a Viking abode uh, complete with park rangers uh, dressed out in Viking attire and uh, a Viking Kawasaki kind of a golf cart vehicle that brings them back and forth. So there you have it. So here are some recreated huts. Uh, that are based on certain of the artifacts and history and other knowledge that has been accumulated about the Vikings and the way they lived uh, here in Newfoundland and probably other places right on the water so that they could continue to fish and sail and raid or do whatever and, uh, and live their Viking best lives right here. So this has been a brief glimpse at Lance Omedo, a Viking encampment, but apparently they only stayed here for 10 years. But interestingly enough, there was a whole village that has been unearthed and uh, recreated. And it's of course a beautiful setting and a nice part courtesy of the province of Newfoundland and the Canadian government. So certainly it's something you should see if you're coming to Canada. It's a long ways out. Very worthwhile. The cynical traveler can't find anything bad to say about this site or the Vikings. So thank you.